Do it, Father. You go inside and sit down. Go on, I'll see to them both. Hi, Jim. <sighs> the strength's gone from me. Well, it's no good just sitting there. I told you, go to your bed. I can't afford to. Jim can do the work. Oh, I know that. He's more of a man than I've been of late. Go to your bed. I'll ask Dr. Livesey to call. Has he a remedy for defeat? Well, it's true. I am defeated. The inn doesn't pay. I've failed to make it pay. The inn will pay in time. The ague's making you see things blacker than they are. We've made a few debts, but... Debts? The interest on the loan is due on the 20th and I can't pay it. Well, ask them for more time. You've always paid promptly in the past. You pay on the due date or that's the end. You're feeling better, Father? Yes, I'll be all right. Why don't you go up to your room and rest? We can manage, can't we, Mother? There's something else. What's that? I didn't mean to listen, but I couldn't help it. It will be a good in one day. Hi there! Don't you want to wear us, eh? What'll be your pleasure, sir? Grog. Noggin' the rum. Look to it. Jim, take that bucket in the kitchen. Cove, the pleasant city aided grog shop. Much company made? Very little, more's a pity. Well, then, this is the berth for me. Oh, you'll be comfortable here, sir. Your name is? Just call me Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. Tell me when I work through that. Wait, wait, sling my hammock. Well, you will, Captain. Facing the sea, matey. Aye, aye, Captain. Sea chest outside. Fetch it aboard. Oh, father, you oh, shouldn't course, be here. Doing... Take the other end. Here. I'll be off with you. Now, More grog. Bacon and eggs. Set a place there. Well, I can see the door. Down here. Oh. You're right. I find.
Crystal fashion. You do. Sea chest. Move it over there. It's a fine chest, Captain. Aye. My father was a sailor, a bosun's mate. Jim. Is that so? Bosun's mate, eh? Ever sailed to the Caribbean? Yeah, it's all in the past. I lay a fire for you in the parlor, Captain. Turns cool of night. Jim? You know what this is, Jim? Yes, Captain, a fourpenny piece. It's yours, Jim. And more like it, if you do a small service for me. Yes, Captain. All you gotta do is to keep a weather eye open for a seafaring man with one leg. You hear? A sailor with one leg? That's right, Jim. And should you see him, or any other rogues that don't belong these shores, you press your sails to tell me, no matter where I am. Yes, sir. Understand? And not a word to anyone. You hear? Then where is he, Long John? He put his oath on it like we all did. To muster here now. Seems like he's forgot, Joe. What? Got his oath? Ah. Got his old shipmates. Vast there, John. We're share and share alike. And that we're agreed in council. What we're agreed don't count, George. Not where Billy's got Flint's map. He might have found a berth already. Slipped his cable and gone off back to the Caribbean to grab all the gold for himself. No, no, he ain't left you. Then where is he, John? Tucked away snug in some quiet cove, awaiting the favorable wind. If I had my lights, I'd ferret him out. If you'd not spent 1,200 pounds in a year like a lord in Parliament, you'd have a mate more patience, Pew. No need to beg, nor steal, nor cut throats. <laughs> no star! What are we gonna do about Billy? Pew? Swing to our anchor, wait in his favorable wind. He comes, we have Master Bones. John. Bring to the devil, I'm done with the rest. Yo ho ho, a bottle of rum. But one man off the crew alive. Yo ho ho, a bottle of rum. Seeing what St. Lucie was 75. Yo ho ho, a bottle of rum. Jim! Jim! I pays you, Jim. I pays you well. So you best tell me quick. Have you seen any seafaring men about strangers to these shores, do you? Yes, sir. No, I haven't seen any honest, I haven't. Yeah. Fetch me up another grog and shake a leg to it. The men on a dead man's chest, you ho ho and a bottle of rum. It was a touch of the ague, doctor, nothing more. The ague is not to be taken lightly. Especially when one falls victim to it as easily as you do. I'm unlucky. It's no trivial matter, Mr. Hawkins. When can I get up? Well, you give your strength time to build up before you start thinking about work. Thank you, Doctor. I'm afraid his constitution is not the most robust. I know that, Doctor. Jim, glass of port, oh, Doctor. Dear. Silence, sir, tween decks. Adieu to the Corvallis. You can get up tomorrow, provided he rests for a couple of days. I look to you to see to that, Mrs. Hawkins. I'll see to it, Doctor. You must take care. I said silence, sir, do you hear? You were addressing me, sir. I was looking at you when I said it, weren't I? Damn your eyes! I have only one thing to say to you, sir. If you go on drinking rum, I stake my wig, the world will soon be rid of a very dirty scoundrel. Is there anything further I should do, sir? No. Watch! 
I've sent men to the sharks for less. If you do not put down that cutlass this instant, I swear upon my honor you shall hang at the next assize. Yeah. I am not a doctor only. I'm a magistrate. And now, since I know there's such a fellow in my district, you may count I'll have an eye on you day and night. If I catch so much as one breath of complaint against you, no matter how small, from Mrs. Hawkins or from anyone else, I'll take effectual means to have you hunted down and routed out of this. Let that suffice. Going back to sea, Mr. Silver? Oh, believe that, Mr. Blandley. When I stepped ashore last time, that was the end of the sea cook. Every seafaring man needs a snug berth when he gets back to port, and that's how the spyglass is known. And the most agreeable hostler it is, Mr. Silver. Ah, my good lady, Mrs. and myself, are always honored by your presence there, Mr. Blandley. That we are, sir. You're most kind. Now, how can I be of service to you? Well, it's a matter of keeping my ropes well pointed. In what regard? As to the departure of all vessels, large or small, bound for the Caribbean. You want the names? Aye, ship, captain, mate, and any passengers aboard. Considerable task, Mr. Silver. Kingstown, Jamaica is Sweet Louisa's own port. She has kin still a-living there. And not a word betwixt them in an age. <laughs> right than not be in her strength, nor read in theirs. We was thinking someone could take a message from my king folk. By word of mouth. Mr. Blandley, and it would have to be someone that my good missus could take to. Someone particular, sir. Mm, a thoughtful gesture. With Long John Silver, it must be Bristol fashion. In matters of feeling, as well as in matters of import. That my dear Louisa thinks the same way I do. Jim? Here. Look lively. What flag's she wearing? Look well and tell me true. What's her flag? The one you'd expect, Captain. The Jolly Roger. No, ours. She's English. No pirate she would dare come that close to shore. Come. The money you gave us is long since spent. Eh? Yeah. The money you gave me is spent. I was to tell you when it was. I done so more than once. <laughs> and that's the only reply I've had. With that, are you? Or would you like more? Lots. Lots more. I know how it is here, matey. If you went for the captain here, you'd be in the doldrums trying to whistle up a wind. Well, I ain't a poor man. I ain't a rich one neither. Yet, I know. Where's hid a fortune in those? Just for the taking. Don't you want to know where, or would it frighten you? Where? A Spanish main, matey. On an island, buried these past eight years. Plunder. And of them that did it, only one was left alive to tell the tale. And before he died, he told one other. But there are dogs that knows I know, and they'd stop at nothing short to find it. I need your shipmate. Oyster colors alongside mine, matey, and you'll have gold to make your fine doctor. And all the general in these parts look like paupers. Going back to sea? I never heard such nonsense. It's fish. You'll eat it and you'll like it. You can't go back. It would be madness, and you know it. No, it wouldn't. I gotta get the money, haven't I? 
How else are they going to do it? But you can't go back to sea. You're not strong enough. I won't go as a deckhand. I'll try for a purse's mate. But you promised me you'd never go back to sea. I've no choice. Nights I used to lie awake, listening to the wind howling, wondering how you were faring. The long weeks waiting for news. Would you put me through all that again? There's no other way. The uh, Caribbean, you say, Mr. Hawkins? Hi. Well, the Lady Jessica's bound for those climbs in ten days' time. Captain Dokes commanding. Dokes? I can arrange a passage for you. Uh, no, uh, no, not yet. Uh, where's she lying? She's here, Avon Dock. Well, uh, thank you, sir. Well, good day. And a very good day to you, Mr. Hawkins, sir. Take this note at once to Mr. Silver at the Spyglass Inn. I'm sorry, Mr. Hawkins. If you're looking for work, I'm a full crew. No more Hamlet space for two more who'll pay their way, Captain? I'm bound for Kingston, Jamaica. As good a port as any. Right you are, then. There is one condition. Oh? Well, what would that be? Well, I'll join the ship here. Uh, my shipmate, we pick up along the shore after dark. After dark? Oh, no, Mr. Hawkins. I want no trouble with the revenue men. I could lose my job. Would that make it worth your while? This friend of yours, where would he want to be picked up? Black Hill Cove. Black Hill Cove? There's three fathoms there at Low Water Springs. Aye, you're right. You've not talked to anyone else about this, have you? Anyone else? It wouldn't be in my interest either, Captain. Thank you, Mr. Hawkins. Why did you want to see my Daniel, Sergeant Dance? Oh, it's nothing, really. Having a bright young lad like Jim can't manage. Here, Jim. Sir? There's talk of smugglers along this part of the coast, boy. People are bringing in wines and brandy from France. If you see any strangers or anything else suspicious, you let me or one of my men know. Yes, sir, I will. Glad. Will there be a reward, sir? Jim! <laughs> if I can help, I mean. Well, I don't see why not. All right, Jim, boy, you'll get paid. Thank you, sir. Hi there! Mr. Arrow! Permission to come aboard? Hi, John. She seems a sweet craft, the Lady Jessica. She sails well. It's been a time since you laid alongside the spyglass, Joshua. Grog cost me my last situation as mate, John. It'll not cost me this one. Bravely said, bravely said. It's Captain Talk support. No galley berths, John, if that's what you're after. <laughs> Some of my timbers, me. Sign on again. Oh, my signature is on a spyglass now, and you made it to that. No, it's advice I made him from him of a personal nature. You'd best come below then. Come in. Yes, Mr. Mate. Mr. Silver here, wishing a word with you, Captain. Yes. It's come to my ears, Captain, that you may be taking a Mr. Hawkins to Kingstown, Jamaica. Where did you hear this? Oh, dockside signals, Captain. And if I were, Mr. Silver, what is it to you? Oh, Jamaica's my missus's own port, Captain. She's still got kin there. And being a good sentimental soul she is, 
She has a mind to send a few trinkets with a kind word, personal delivered like. And you want Mr. Hawkins to take him? Well, I want to ask him if he would, not presuming directly that he will. So could you be telling me where he's birthed in, in Bristol, Captain? No, I can't. But he comes aboard the day before we sail. You'd better call on him then. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Captain. Oh, mighty comfortable quarters for a passenger. <laughs> I'd to berth them amidships. Them, Joshua? You mean there's more than one? Who else besides Hawkins, then? No one else, John. You said you had to berth them amidships. No, you didn't hear me proper. Why don't you take a passage should you make it yourself, John? Ah. Rich man like you, eh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's the truth of it, Joshua. 35 years at sea, with the wind howling in the rigging, and the sails slapping, and the roar of them cannons. That's the worst of all. That's what turns you deaf. Thank you, Joshua. Come alongside the spyglass tonight. I'd best not, John. Well, my missus will be disappointed. She'll be wanting to thank you for what you've done for her. You not deny her that pleasure. You wouldn't disappoint the lady, would you? Tell Mistress Louisa I'll be there. But I'm not drinking. Father's going to Kingstown, Jamaica. That's the Spanish main, isn't it? Hi, Jem, lad. I envy you, shipmate. The deck are moving under you, a full set of sails all billowed out as you run afore the trades. <laughs> Were I a younger man, I'd be with you. Maybe you'll be attacked by pirates and have to repel borders. <laughs> have you eaten? Not since leaving Bristol. I'll go and get you something to eat. Sarah? I got an advance of pay. As well as being made purse's mate. Enough to pay the interest on the loan. This Captain Dopes must be very understanding. Yes, he's a good man. Thank God for him. Him the midships, <laughs> no, baby. <laughs> Them the midships. There ain't never been nothing amiss with my lugs. Them's what you said. So who is Hawkins a shipmate? I told you I don't know. <laughs> we'll sell you for morsels of rat and beat if you don't spout. Hawkins. All I know is Hawkins comes aboard and we sail with the evening tide. And his nameless shipmate. What of him? <laughs> we... Pick him up first night out. Where, matey? Where do you scoop him up? So, somewhere along the coast. Do, do you hear that, matey? Somewhere along the coast. Where along the coast? A, a cove somewhere. Which cove, dummy? Name it. Name it! You're the day you was born! Signal with a lantern when we're off the cove. Mm. Even the fair wind will not get us here before ten. We must be clear away by first light. So be ready to go as soon as you see the signal. What about my sea chest? One of the crew will come ashore and pick it up. All you gotta do is to be ready to leave smartly. I'll be ready. I'll leave it to you to see that nothing goes wrong. Which cove? Oh, I swear, John, I, I swear I don't know. Get him out of my sight! Well, what's to be done, John Silver? We reviews the situation, Israel. Untangles <coughs> our wraps. Hawkins goes aboard. Pilots Captain Dokes and their Jessica to that quiet cove where Billy Bones will slip his key ball. Oh, John, which cove? Well, according to Arrow, they weighs anchor on the evening tide and picks Billy up before a light. He can't be so very far away, mateys. Far enough, Long John. I mean, for us to find it and roust him out. Yeah, we well, ain't got time. They're sunk, that's what. Because this thing ain't been properly handled from the start. Oh, we'll find him, Mary, don't you worry. How? How? How do we get our hands on his stinking hide? You mean you don't know? Well, I'm surprised at you. A man what reckons he ought to be a leader. Well, even a newborn babe could see that. 
There's nothing you've forgotten, then. I can't think of anything. Be good to yourself, Daniel. I will. Don't you worry. I'll do everything you told me, I promise. I'll come back fitter and better than I've been for years, I will. All sunburns and healthy. You do understand, don't you, why I'm doing this? Believe me, it's the only way. For that reason, I'm proud of you, Daniel, going back to sea. I remember how you hated it towards the end. All the things you told me about the slave drivers. Bad food, bad conditions, the ship's not fit to sail. I'm sorry for complaining. That's well, I understand. You are telling me the truth, aren't you? What do you mean? You are going to be a purser's mate, not slave at some other work. Oh, I won't be slaving, of course I won't. Jim, where have you been? Your father's leaving now. I've been brushing a man's horse. He gave me a penny. Now, Jim, you know what I do in my absence, don't you? Yes, Father. Take good care of Dean and look after Mother. And you see you do it. I will. Well, what'll I bring you back from Kingston? With silk shawl, please. And yourself safe and sound. Daphne. She sails on the evening tide. Captain Dokes wasn't long to find another mate. <clears throat> All right then, ladies, let's refresh our memories. What you gonna do tonight? We know that long, John. Just as long as you don't forget. Israel, you're in charge. Now, as I see it, our friend Master Bones will be taken off on a boat. Now, when they've stood off the beach, you lay yourselves alongside. Job, you and Black Dog will see to the chest. The map will be in the chest, I suppose. But where else would it be? You, Israel, with the invaluable help of George here, yeah? will dispatch the crew. Don't worry, we will. What about Bones? Send his miserable carcass to the fishers. With my love. <laughs> <laughs> to be abroad, Mr. Hawkins. No, it's going to rain, I shouldn't wonder. Looking to smuggler, sir. No, oh, why, Jim? Fair weather or foul, the watch must be kept. Don't spill it, for goodness that sake. He's in a bad enough mood as it is. Keep Sergeant Downs and two of his revenue. They're looking for smugglers. Smugglers here? They should be about their duty elsewhere. Go on. All prepared, Mr. Hawkins? Aye. Right. You better do what you gotta do. And do it quickly. Lowering a boat. I'll waste no time. There goes the signal. Sergeant, there's a 
light out of scene. What's that, man? signaling. Someone's signaling. Right, come on, lads. Excuse us, my No, you stay here, Jim. No, no stay please. here. Oh, go and see what he wants. Jim! Damn you, boy, come here! Sir? Can you see a light out there? You saw it, too. You sure there was a light? Yes, honest, I am. Right, lads, come on, drink up. Out of bed, I'm tired if you're not. It's a pity you didn't catch him. Well, we did look, Mrs. Hawkins. I know every foot of those woods now. <laughs> Damn the lawbreakers. Sergeant. I know, Jim, I haven't forgot. And thank you for your help. With eyes as sharp as yours, I know I don't have to worry about this part of the country. If you need my help again, you'll ask me. I will, boy. Good night, Mrs. Hawkins. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I'm off to bed. I'll go and lock up first. Coming back for me, are they? Do you hear? I don't know. Please, 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 damn you, Hawkins! Damn you, Hawkins! Damn you, damn you! Damn you, Hawkins! Ah! You stupid shrubs! You decided it was the revenue men, and like true gentlemen of fortune, you ran. What else can we do? Well, what are you gonna slip the shore I found out what was going on? Where Master Bones was? What are you doing now, all of you? I want every inn on that part of the coast visited, searched top to bottom. I'll just keep him warm. Nothing but broth until the fever breaks. Yes, Doctor. Did you explain it all? How this came about? 
No, Doctor. <sighs> Black dog. As ever was. Well, if you didn't be old shipmate, Billy. You've run me down, speak up. What is it? I'll take a glass of rum from this dear child here, and we'll talk square. <laughs> you, uh, you failed to get off last night, as you hoped. Get on with it. Off with you, Sonny, go on. And none of your keel stuff with me, either. Long John says shipmates like us should share and share alike. Silver sea is in hell, for he divvy up. He's the truest shipmate you ever had. If that was so, I'd not be here, nor you come to fetch me. <laughs> you go back and tell him that all I share with him would be a yard arm to swing from. You turn King's evidence? He'll not take kindly to that, Bill, threatening with the noose. An end to a black dog. The map is mine. When Flint were dying in Savannah, he gave it to me. Before Silver has it, I'd see us all swing first. Oh! Uh, don't tell him that. Swing one, swing all, say! Uh, 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 Fiddlesticks end. No more dead than you and me. The man has had a stroke, Come as up. I warned him. Come Jim, fetch me a basin and I'll bleed him. Come Mrs. Up. Hawkins? Yes, sir. You attend your husband. Please say nothing of this. Uh, yes, Doctor. Come up. Now, Roe, we'll see the colour of your blood. Black dog. Black dog. There's no black dog here. Except what you have on your own back. And what I have to say to you is this. Oh, one glass of rum won't kill you. And if you take one, you'll take another and another. And I stake my wig. If you don't break off short, you'll die. I clear my conscience. The name of rum for you is death. Is that what he said? Swing one, swing all. That's what he said, Long John. Billy. All right then, mateys, no need to parley about it. Let's put the question. Are we all of a like mind? Aye. According to the rules and traditions of gentlemen of fortune, a black spot. Don't serve it to him. I will, John. No. Blind pew will serve it to him. <laughs> Me, Long John? Ah, you, my old shipmate. The very same broadside has took my leg off, put out his lights. Blind pew will deliver the black spot. I see you, Flint. Come for me, have you? Like them? Well, they'll not have me. Nor you. Nor the devil himself! No, 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 no! Stay away, Flint! Stay away! 
Stay away, Flint! Stay away! No! No, Flint! Stay away! Stay away from me, Flint! Stay away! Hey! Oh, Jim. Jim. I've had the horrors. Flint, over in the corner there, is plain as print. Fetch me a grog, Jim. But the doctor said you must Damn the doctor! Any... What does the doctor know of seafaring men? I've been in places as hot as pitch, with my mates falling round me with yellow jack, and the land heaving like the sea with earthquakes. What does the doctor know of lands like that? Me? I've lived on rum. <laughs> I haven't had a drop all day. Please, Jim. There's a flask over there. I'll give you a golden guinea for a noggin. I don't want your money. Hey, that's enough. seafaring man yesterday he's a bad one but there's worse that sent him and they'll be here to tip me the black spot it's in my sea chest what they're after in an oilskin packet when they come you get on a horse and ride to that dr. Swab and tell him to pipe all hands lay aboard the bembo for old Flint's crew man and boy What's left of them? You hear? Well, but what is the black spot, Captain? A summons, lad. But it's what's written on the back what matters. A deputation will hand it over with the full council's decision written on the back. As is duty bound. And I'll need to be there to greet them. Oh, shipmates, I'll say. Step aboard. No need for fear. And hand it over. They'll do is his duty bound. <laughs> and then I'll turn it over and see what it says. What did it say there, Captain? How long I've got. Is he? He's a little quieter. I've picked him some berries. Sir, I must tell you. Now, Daniel, you must rest. I must tell you. No rest. Whatever it is, we'll wait till you're better. I lied to you for the first time since day. I met you. <sighs> what you did, you did to help us. Yeah. Not to deceive me for your own selfish gain. You don't know what I was going to do. But I know it was nothing bad or evil, Daniel, because I know you. That captain of yours is to blame for this. We forgive you. All that matters is that we're all together again. Together. You.
Go and fetch the doctor, Jim, as fast as you can. inform a poor blind man what lost the precious sight of his eyes in the gracious defence of our native country, England, and God save King George, in what neighbourhood I might be. You're at the Admiral Benbow, Black Hill Cove. Please let me go. Oh, no, boy. You take me in to see the captain. I don't, so I must get the doctor. You take me in straight away or I'll break your arm. And when I come in view, you cry out. There's a friend to see you, Bill. And if you don't, I'll do this. So you peace, boy. Here's, here's a friend for you, Bill. Blind Pew. Stay where you are, Bill. I cannot see, but I can hear a finger stirring. Uh, well, business is business. Hold out your left hand. Boy! You take hold of his left hand by the wrist and bring it near to my right. That's done. Huh? <sighs> Within the hour. Oh, Jim. Help me, Jim. Right. We'll do them yet. We'll do them yet, Jim. We'll do them yet. Oh! Downstairs, but he, he killed your father, Mother, and he shall answer for Mother, it. Mother, he's dead. He's dead. You kill my Daniel, and I'll have my dues. Yes, he's gone from me because of you. I'll have my lawful dues. He's my fatherless child. Mother, listen. Don't bolt the door. Mother, we're in danger. Do as I bid. They're coming back, Mother. Don't you understand? They're coming back. Mother! Mother, they're coming back within the hour. Flint's men, the pirates for the map. I'll show these roads I am an oh, honest woman. Mother, they're evil, wicked women. We must get away. I have my lawful dues and not a farthing more. Please go, Guinness. They're, they're the ones I'll take with them and only them. Mother. Leave me, people! Listen! Mother, we was high. I'll have my lawful oh, dues. Mother, take them all quickly. Come on, we'll go out the back way. <laughs> go on. <laughs>
Trust, Pew. We've got the doubloons! Don't give them to the devil! It's the map we want. Is that chest lined? Huh? Aye. And lead me to it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Knife! Get a knife! Get a knife! Get a knife! Shiver my soul if I had eyes! Oh, but, 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 